Somebody call the police. Look, everyone, look. Nobody's calling the police. Everyone who just leaves me here, look. Look. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Somebody call police. Somebody call the police. Somebody call the police. Somebody call the police. No, no. I went to a place. I went. So this is what went down, guys. I lift heavy weights. I get massages regularly, and I've gotten them in different countries. And this is the first time that I've ever experienced something this ridiculous and outrageous. So I'm there getting about to get my massage. I'm on the bed. The girl comes in and she starts taking off her clothes, starting with her top. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not the type of massage that I want. You know, I want a professional massage. And she's like, oh, come on, baby, everything is going to be OK. And I'm like, no, I need a professional massage. So I get up and I tell her. Please, if you can't provide a professional massage, get someone else in here. And she's like, if you if you don't want this, why didn't you just get a man? And I'm like, yes, if the man is a professional massage therapist, I'll gladly go with the man. And so then she gets on her phone, starts yelling, starts cussing at whoever's on the phone, storms out of the room and locks the room from the outside. Guys, you can't leave this place because there's no way to open the door on the inside. Everything is done on the outside. That's a huge red flag. And that's, I don't even know how that's even legal. You know, you're literally in there captive. And so then a couple minutes later, as I'm getting dressed, a man walks in and demands sternly for tip. He's like, give me tip, give me tip and get out. And I'm like, give you tip and get out. She didn't even even provide a massage. You need to give me my money back. And he's like, no, you give tip right now or you don't leave. And I'm like, if I don't. Oh, OK, so you're threatening me. All right. And I pull out my phone and I start recording. He starts to record, too. And I tell him this man here is holding me captive, you know, blah, 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 this and that. And so I tell him, you know, that you're going live. And so he got a little bit scared and he opens the door and he's like, fine, get out of here. And I'm like, yes. And I would like my money back, please. And so then I go to the front to uh, record the, the price that they charged me so I could get exactly that. And all hell breaks loose when he tells the ladies that I was recording. They start to freak out. They start yelling and arguing. So I'm like, I'm just going to get out of here, dude, and I'll talk to my bank to get my money back. I get out. I get in a taxi. I tell him, take me to my hotel, the taxi that was right out there. So he starts driving me, and I see that he takes a wrong turn. And I'm like, uh, where are you going? My hotel's this way. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I take you to hotel. I take you to hotel. No worries. No worries. And so I'm like, OK, I'm going to trust this guy or whatever. But little do I know he's taking me back to the massage parlor. So I arrive back to the massage parlor and it seems like it's pandemonium going on. Everyone is outside of the massage parlor, the girls and all that waiting for me. So I get out of the taxi and I tell the taxi, you're a P.O.S., this is what you were bringing me back to. It's like, oh, okay, everything. I take you to hotel. Just wait one minute. And I'm like, wait one minute, man. I don't even go. So I just turn around and I start walking the other way. And they start approaching. So then I start jogging and they start coming faster. So I start running and I'm like, taxi, taxi, someone get me out of here. These people are trying to scam me. No one's giving me any attention. So I go into the highway and I put my thumb out. So see if someone will pick me up. And a couple seconds later, sure, someone picks me up. And then I get into their car and I tell him, please take me to my hotel. And so he starts driving, but then he pulls over and he's like, oh, OK, let me put your hotel on the map. And I'm like, I can tell you how to get there. Go this way, this way. No, no, let me put on my map. And as he's doing that, three cars roll up on us, literally like gangster mafia style. One of them gets in front of him. They oh, the girls, the women, three women come to my door, pull me out of the car by force them manhandling me with my from my vsl bag they're just manhandling me dude and that's when i start yelling you know hey somebody call the police call the police you know and you guys are gonna see the video that i'm talking about right now so you guys can see what type of stuff happens in india i had good experiences here um, but this one was one of the worst experiences i've ever had and mind you if i've been in different countries like hungary where I'm getting a massage and they offer me, you know, happy ending or whatever, you know, and I'm like, no, no, I just come here for a professional massage. 
And yeah, they go about their business. They finish the professional massage and we're done. You know, but this woman was adamant about that. And I was like, no way, dude. I'm like, I'm Christian and I'm married. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a professional massage. And all hell broke loose. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. This is not a professional massage, sir. Can you let me out? Yo, yo, head massage. Yo, head massage, no tip. Yo, four hundred tip, no. Yo, bum massage. No, I'm saying, can you let me out? First, pin Out, please. No, sir, no. First so you're pee. keeping me trapped? Huh? You're keeping me trapped? Yo, head massage, head massage. Yeah, but see, I came in for a professional massage. I paid and, and it said 2000, 2500. She charged me 3000 on my credit card. And then she came in here and tried to have sex with me. And I said, no, no sex. I said, I'm married. I said, I'm married and I'm Christian. And I showed her the cross on my chest. So she got upset. She got upset. And then you came in. Okay, no problem. Okay. So. Can I see the can I see the price? Because I want to show my video video. I want to show my video. Why? Why fun? No, because I want somebody call the police. Look, everyone, look. Nobody's calling. Focus on this man. He is an angel. He was sent by God to protect me. He turned an angry mob and put all their eyes on the demons. Watch how he berates the demon, the pimp, later on in the video for trying to corrupt a good man. The police. Everyone is now I did my best to cover the faces of these women because after all, they are women and whatever choices led them to this type of work, I prayed for them. I prayed that God may bring them out of that life and into a more honorable life, one that honors God. I went to a place, I went to a place to get a massage. They offered me sex. I said, no, I'm married. I'm married. I'm Christian. I don't want sex. I just want a massage. That's all I said. To be clear, all they wanted, all this fiasco was for the video. They wanted me to delete the video, which I did out of respect, delete some parts, but I didn't delete it all because who knows who these people are connected to. They could have twisted the story for it to be something that it was not. And I was not gonna take that chance. Look, I went to get massage. They wanted sex. I said, no, no, no. I'm married. I'm Christian, no sex. They sent a man, a man inside, closed the door, told me to stay in there. Give me money, give me money. I said, no, and I recorded the man. You call you police. You call you police. Police. You, you. I don't have reception. One zero two. One zero two. Five. One zero two. I don't have reception. One 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 two. Call girl. I don't have reception. Police. Police. You call. I don't have reception. Can you call? You call. Thank you. Let's go. Why is go? Massage karai thi isne. Iski baasa samajh mein aayi tumare. You massage you. Call. Please. Call police. Okay okay. Please. I call them. They follow you. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. I do Okay, okay. Video, video only. I'm okay, recording okay. now for no, my okay, safety. Okay, okay. safety. For my safety. safety. You, you, you. Okay, okay. 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 I'm recording for my safety because look at this. In the middle of the road. Please, sir. So, if video, for safety. Okay. Good, good. I like it. I told her I'm married. I said, I said, I'm married. I'm Christian. I don't want sex. I want massage. You please, you come. I don't, I can't. I don't have reception. And they've been following me to, de to delete the video because the guy wouldn't let me out. He wouldn't let me out of the room. He locked the room. And told me, and told me you pay me more money right now. Okay, okay. And then I told him, I told him, they didn't even give me a massage. Why am I going to pay you more? Okay. 
No, they they followed me to my hotel and they pulled me over. I was inside a taxi and they came and pulled me over. They got me out of the taxi. And the taxi pushed me out. Now look, this is social media. The tendency is gonna be negative comments about India in the comment section. Absolutely not. This is not what this is about. I need you to focus on the good people of India. The devil is loose everywhere, guys. We live in some pretty bad times, but there are angels out there. There are good people out there, just like all these men there that stood by my side to protect me from evil, from people that wanted to harm me. They were with a foreigner against their own people because they saw what was right. The Christian thing we got going is worldwide. See, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. Video nahi hai. Theek hai. Hai hai. This is the guy. I got video bana raha hu. Yeah, I'm videoing for my own protection. Banayega nahi kya? Banayega nahi kya? I can hear you. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, okay, bye. Bro, okay. Thank you. You're a good guy. I appreciate you. You too, sir. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Very good Indian man. I appreciate you. At this point, I was somewhat relieved, but still unsure because last time they put me out of a taxi, so I had no idea if they were following us or if they were going to end up going to my hotel and cause problems. But luckily, that didn't happen. Yes, please. Thank you. They've been they've been following me everywhere. One one taxi, one taxi took me took me back to them. You see, this is what keeps happening. No, no. Yes, Why can't I just go? Yeah, they right now they try to rob me. So they try to rob me. So he's taking me to my hotel. Do not come here guys. They try to hustle you right here. Do not come. No good. 